This tutorial is out of sync. I apologize for this, and it will be fixed in later tutorials. Uh, please watch the podcast for more detailed information. Again, I apologize and hope you enjoy it anyway. Create an object of mouse, object, mouse, semicolon, and everything's good to go. If you checked out the sample, I created a comment here that says, when having a mouse in the game, it is best to make the game full screen, so it will not leave the game window. So you uncomment the full screen line below that and it will make the game full screen. So if you're looking at the sample, you just remove that comment from graphics dot is full screen equal to true. Or you can just use that this way. Now I'm gonna comment this here as well so you can see it. Okay. Now usually we initialize the objects in the initialize method, but since our object accepts a texture 2D as the parameter or the content manager, let's just do it inside the load content. Mouse is equal to new mouse object. And in the sample I use the content manager, comma the mouse name we want to use. Now if you go into the uh, lower the references and go into the content portion of your project we have both versions available so pick whichever one you want to use go into the properties window and grab the asset name copy that and paste it inside here wrap it in quotes and and parentheses and semicolon okay so far so good, so let's go into the update method and call mouse.update. Now I didn't do any kind of bounds correction because well the mouse leaves the bounds and it's not really a good way to do to restrict it to the game window. As you see most games that have a windowed option, you cannot get out of the game window. So if you're going to use a mouse, the proper way to do it is enter full screen mode. Of course, for the tutorial, it's best that I demonstrate it in window mode because full screen mode might mess up with the recording. So I'll just leave that in windowed mode, but just uncomment that to add full screen mode. And finally, let's do mouse.draw. And let's pass this the sprite batch and n semicolon. In parentheses and semicolon. Now for best F5, hopefully everything's working fine. It'll compile it and run it, and we should see our texture in our game window. As you can see, the mouse is currently outside of the game window. But when we enter the game window, the mouse changes to the new texture. So if we close this and change the asset name to If we change the asset name to version 2, we get the new texture. And you can add inside the draw, the draw method. This is not in the sample, but I'll demonstrate this here. If mouse dot left click, which means the left click button is down, and this isn't a correct way to do this, but just for the sake of the tutorial and time, let's just do it this way. So if the left click is down, let's change the clear color to dot red or something like that. Else if mouse dot left release let's add the color dot green or something to identify a new color and just general else okay so let's see how this looks when I click the left mouse button it should turn to red 
When I release it, it should go to green, then blue. Okay. So now just to make sure that the right is working, change these to right click and right to release. Now if we press the left button, nothing should work. If we press the right button, it goes red. Release, it should go green right away, then go back into blue. So there we have it. You can manipulate the mouse any way you want. You can build upon the sample and go from there. Next tutorial, we'll discuss clickable game objects. So, hope to see you next.